Okay, today we're going to take an ordinary chord progression, something like this. And turned into something a little more musical, something like this. Okay, the first thing to make a chord less uh, one-dimensional um, is to add open strings and even better if you can get an open string throughout the chord progression that glues everything together uh, for the first chord B major um, I would just see all those B notes in there know that there's an open string and then with the other B notes then I just move them around um, like here I just flattened that to a major or just flattened it to one uh, semitone and you get a major seven sound and then I just put an F sharp on the top just for a little sparkle so straight away instead of that you've got so you see how quick you can get things sounding um, musical uh, like on the next chord F sharp major instead of playing the, the most uh, common note, the root note, I just played the third of that chord, uh, which is A sharp. So what you're doing is you're substituting the uh, the root note for the third of that chord. You get that kind of chord that sounds like it's kind of in movement. You know, it's going somewhere. Um, so if we take that note, um, and then apply the open string theory as well. Then you get that. So, th so there's your F uh, sharp major chord, and uh, it's now got an open string into it, so it sounds a lot more open. And then the E, in the E, I put the F sharp in the bass or the, the mid, should I say? Because the F sharp sitting on top on the first two chords. So straight away I would just think um, to put that in the bass. And then obviously this um, note is introduced as well, which is the A sharp again, again played in the first two chords. So once you do that, it all sort of um, glues together. Now that chord, that E chord would have what they would call a Lydian sound. And what that is 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 the, f the fourth of uh, the, the chord which should be A is actually sharpened up one note to A sharp um, gives it a kind of otherworldly type of sound and then for the G sharp uh, chord G sharp minor, um, we would just play what has become a theme with all the other uh, chords. So you, you would just try that with the G sharp in the bass. And it works, you know. I mean, um, later you can uh, analyze this stuff and see that, you know, the, the, that open B is a third, minor third of G sharp. The A sharp is a, a ninth sound and the F sharp is a seventh. So you get that kind of, or else, you get those sounds. So that's kind of the mindset. And uh, then you can play around with some notes inside these chords. Okay, that's it for now, but uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you very soon. Mm -hmm.